want to live where all the cool kids want to live. Always wanted to be part of the hottest, chicest neighborhoods, the neighborhoods that everyone talks about. Well, today's video is all about the hottest urban neighborhoods here in Sarasota. Now, these neighborhoods are definitely the quintessential places that everyone is talking about and moving to. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the cost of living in these trendy neighborhoods, why people are loving them, what you can expect, who's moving into some of these neighborhoods, Hoods and why you may want to too. So before we get started, I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts, your local neighborhood expert here in Sarasota, Manatee Counties. If we can be of any help, please give us a call. We love helping people buy, sell, relocate, invest in Sarasota. Now I'm gonna talk about five specific neighborhoods. We're gonna talk about Laurel Park, Gillespie Park, Indian Beach, Sapphire Shores, Arlington Park, and the always popular West of Trail neighborhoods. We are diving into each and every one of these, but First, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And please leave comments below. Let me know what neighborhoods are your favorite or a neighborhood that you'd love to live in. All right, let's get started with one of my favorite neighborhoods here in Sarasota, and that is Laurel Park. Now, Laurel Park is a small neighborhood, but with a lot of charm, and it has a great variety of home styles. It is located just west of Highway 31 and east of Osprey. Right. It's a small section between Burns Court and downtown Sarasota. And Laurel Park dates back to the early 1900s. And it's definitely got somewhat of a bohemian, chic, Key West lifestyle. The homes are surrounded with lots of foliage. There's a lot of charm, privacy here. But yet all the neighbors seem to know each other and they gather in Laurel Park, which there is a little park here, which is very, very nice. And you'll find such a variety of homes. We have some fun Bungalows. We have some very traditional Florida cracker style homes. We have villas. We have traditional two stories. We have new, beautiful, modern homes, townhomes, and villas. So there's something for everyone here in Laurel Park. And as I said, it is walking distance to Burns Court and downtown Sarasota. A lot of young professionals or retirees are moving into Laurel Park. Now the average price per square foot though is kind of hefty at $574 a square foot. And most homes are selling over a million dollars. Now the next neighborhood that everyone is talking about is definitely is always being talked about here and that is Gillespie Park. Gillespie Park is located just north of Fruitville Road and it was kind of once known as not the most safest or best place to live. It has definitely gone through a transformation in the past decade and definitely been going through some gentrification and so young urbanites and retirees and locals all want to fly to Gillespie Park as that it is walking distance to downtown as well as Rosemary District and the ever popular Bayfront area. There's even a park in Gillespie Park that features tennis courts, a dog park, has playground equipment which is perfect for all ages. It's a very walkable neighborhood. Again, this neighborhood has really come into its own and we see that the price per square foot really shows that. The price per square foot is now $574. That's an average with most homes being priced between 800 and a million and a half. So you can see this has really changed greatly. And we're seeing a lot of new two-story modern homes going into this area as well. So it has definitely gone through a lot of changes in the last decade. Now the next neighborhood that everyone knows about and talks about all the time, and that is Indian Beach in Sapphire Shores. This is located just west of Highway 40 or Tamiami Trail along the Sarasota Bayfront. This is one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of Sarasota with development beginning in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Here, you're gonna find homes of all price points from homes priced at 12 million all the way down to in the 400,000s. We're gonna see those mansions along the Bayfront as well as some single family ranch style homes that are two bedroom, two bath. So there is such a variety when you drive through here. And like Laurel Park, there's a lot of foliage and privacy around here. 
Now, people love this area because it's walkable to many, many things, such as Ringling School of Design, Ringling Museum, and the State College of Florida. Not to mention, you can easily walk to Van Wezel for live performances or even downtown Sarasota for dinner and drinks. So check out Indian Beach, Sapphire Shores, if you have not done so yet. Now, we're gonna move a little bit to the south and we're gonna talk about Arlington Park. Everyone talks about Arlington Park and again, these are all classic hot urban neighborhoods. This area close to downtown, one key factor is they're all older homes mixed with really, really modern homes. Unfortunately, the prices definitely are reflective in the demand in these areas. Now, Arlington Park is probably the most affordable of all the neighborhoods we're gonna talk about today. The average price per square foot is just around 450 in Arlington Park. And we're gonna see a variety of sizes of homes from small ranch style homes that are two bedroom, two bath with a thousand square feet, all the way up to two story homes over 3,000 square feet. Now you can find a few homes priced under 400,000 for just those really small homes. However, the average price in Arlington Park is between 800 and a million dollars. Most of this area was originally developed in the 1950s. So you can see there's a lot of difference between Laurel Park, Gillespie Park, Arlington Park. They're just all surround downtown area. One nice thing about Arlington Park is that it does have a very, very nice park. It is selected as one of the best locations for birding and wildlife. The city park actually offers residents a 50 meter lap pool. It has outdoor basketball courts. It has tennis court, playground. It has a half mile walking trail. It has a dog park. So there is a lot that you can do here in Arlington Park. And as I said, it's not only just conveniently located to downtown, it's conveniently located to Southside Village. So there's a lot of dining options just steps away. The final neighborhood we're gonna talk about today is the neighborhoods considered West of Trail. Now, I have done a whole video on West of Trail, so if you wanna check that out next, please do so. Or if you'd like more information on any of the neighborhoods that I'm talking about today, be sure to leave comments below, send me a message, and let me know how I can be of help. So let's get into what you can expect west of trail. This area is by far the most popular in all of Sarasota, and if you drive through here, you'll see why. Now, it is the priciest of all locations in Sarasota, Manatee County, outside of the Keys. It's popular because it has so much to offer. The Sarasota Memorial Hospital is located in the heart of West of Trail. There is a lot of shopping and dining options. I mean, you're just steps away from the Bayfront. You have Selby Gardens to wander through. You can go to dinner downtown. There is so much happening in the West of Trail area. Now there's a number of neighborhoods West of Trails well, so on a map, unfortunately, or if you Googled West of Trail, there's not just one neighborhood. We have Avondale, Hudson Bayou, Harbor Acres. There's just a number of them. And they're all going to be a variety of styles of home. Many, many large, older homes are in this neighborhood, but what we see so much now is brand new homes. So the older, smaller homes at this point have been knocked down to make way for really beautiful homes, specifically along the Bayfront. Now, there's a lot of historical significance in this area, and there's even an elementary school that people love. Southside Elementary is located west of Trail as well, so many parents love living in the area and being able to walk their children to school. So who's moving west of Trail? Well, they come from everywhere. We, like I said, we have families there that just choose this area so they can walk their kids to school. We have doctors, we have nurses, because the Sarasota Hospital is so close and we have a lot of people that work downtown and we have retirees and empty nesters that love living in this area as well so as you can see we have five very urban chic happening neighborhoods unfortunately they're all a little pricey as I said this is the priciest of all neighborhoods with the average price in this location being two and a half million dollars and that's the average price per home don't get me wrong you can still probably find a home for a million dollars in this neighborhood but 
it does get tougher and tougher. If you would like more information on any of these neighborhoods, please continue to follow along, watch, send me messages, and let me know how I can be of help. All of these neighborhoods are very urban and very walkable to so many activities. If you've ever wanted to live in an urban area in Sarasota, these are it. So let me know how I can be of help. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, take care.